back to that Kevin show with Kevin McCullough. To the dry bar comedy stage we go and Francis De Lorenzio. Comic dream, right? Right? Doing a comedy special in Utah for 50 sober people <laughs> in their fanciest hoodies ever. Oh, who knows? and some even put on their fancy baseball caps. How'd you pick that one out? You're like, this is the good one because we are going to go to a taping. You guys do it right. Wow. Wow. You look happy. Some people look a little confused. You're all staring at me like, when did Celine Dion start doing stand up? <laughs> Everybody has been telling me I look like Celine Dion for years. Do I look like it every day? I'm Celine Dion, Celine Dion, and oh my gosh, I have to be honest, that makes me feel really like a little insecure because she hasn't been attractive since 1982. <laughs> but thank you anyways, thank you anyways. I wanted to look good for you guys, I did, so I got dressed up, I wore my grandma's favorite couch. <laughs> and combat boots. Oh my gosh, I am, uh, I'm like a fashion influencer, I think. I think, I'm not sure, I'm working on it. Cause I have like, I've only been on Instagram for two years and I, I already have 37 followers. Oh my gosh, I'm killing it. I know I have double that subscribers on YouTube. It's amazing. And when I figure out how to use TikTok, I'm gonna kill it. I am gonna be huge on TikTok. You guys don't sound like you're gonna follow me. Anyways. <laughs> So I am excited to be here. I don't even know how to get dressed anymore. I have been such a homebody for the last year and a half, right? And so it's now, it's like, yeah, I'm trying to relearn everything. So I don't know if this looks good or not, but I have to be honest, I have mastered the homebody. I kind of love it, right? I love it. I got off the road. I stayed with my family for like a year and a half and it has been so good. It's not that I'm lazy. I am, I am so into it. I like work out like crazy at home. I, I do, I swim 20 laps a day. Uh, in my jacuzzi <laughs> and uh, I jog five miles every other month and I know I'm killing it right and I even figured out how to do 10,000 steps without leaving the house you just take your phone and you throw it in the dryer <laughs> like oh my gosh one day I did 15,000 steps by accident you know because I didn't hear the the buzzer go off so I was like oh man I am so ahead of schedule look at that look at that but it is uh it has been so nice being with my family it really has I've gotten to know them so much better and I just love that like I didn't realize this but my husband is my biggest supporter he he is for my career every single morning he calls my agent I know without fail he's like oh my gosh are the ships sailing yet are they sailing I'll double your commission I'll double okay fine how about a raft can you book her on a raft she kills on a kayak just get her out there get her out there he is so sweet I just love him I am so lucky and then I have two teenage boys that is so fun to be at home with them constantly oh my gosh and I probably shouldn't brag but they are both of them are gifted not one both both are gifted like off the charts and I mean I didn't have them tested or anything it's just that, I know it's just that whenever I tell them something they're like um I know, we know, no kidding. <laughs> Who doesn't know that? Everybody knows that, duh, you know, right? And I'm like, oh my gosh, you guys are so intelligent. <laughs> you are, they are, they are so smart. They are so smart, I even, I canceled my Google subscription. I'm like, you know, <laughs> Google's not a subscription, sir. I'm just letting you know, it's, it's actually free, but. Anyways, I have been having so much fun with them. I have. It's like, it's crazy. I got to know my husband better. Like I said, I did that. Um, we did like a lot of different things. One thing I realized is my husband and I are like the opposites attract kind of couple. And uh, it's worked out beautifully, right? Because we're yin and yang. But wow, I realized we don't even like the same TV shows. <laughs> One night I was laying in bed and all of a sudden he starts giving me a hard time. He's like, oh my gosh, all you do is watch crime shows. <laughs> Late, right? He's like giving me... Ladies, you like that? Yes, you're going, you, oh my gosh. Are you guys married? 
Yes. Oh, I'm obsessed. I, I watch Forensics Files, Dateline. I know, but my husband was giving me a hard time, just like you, shaking your head. He's like, all you do is watch crime shows, crime shows. And at first, I was like, okay with it, but then I got defensive. And I said, well, all you do is watch Survivor and Deadliest Catch. I know. I'm like, what's the difference? And he's like, well, the difference is you're taking notes. <laughs> Oh my gosh, he seems so worried, so I, I tried to calm him down. I'm like, honey, would you relax? Would you relax? Here, have some Gatorade. It's a new flavor. It's very relaxing. Just take a, take a little sip. You're going to love it. Just relax, honey. So silly. So silly. Then we had fun as a family. We played traditional games. We played Monopoly, Yahtzee. My favorite was Hide and Don't Seek. Oh my gosh. I love that one. Two weeks later, I open up a closet door and there's my husband cowering in the corner. And I'm like, the closet? I never thought of looking in here. Oh my gosh, you're such a good hider. You are. Oh, you look thirsty. Have some Gatorade. Take a little sip. It's a new flavor. <laughs> I love marriage, I do, I really do. And I keep saying that every day, just to keep it, you know, make sure it sounds authentic, that's what I'm doing. I, I do, I say that all the time. I love being with my family, but I'm also torn. I'm a little bit of a homebody, a little bit of a go-getter, I'm a little bit of family, a little bit of, like sometimes I want outside my family, right? Like I got, I got, you know, I had to take a little break from my family. I got so lonely, I wanted to talk to, I'm a people person, I wanted to talk to somebody on the outside, right? And so, oh my gosh, one day I got so lonely, I took my spam calls. Have you guys ever done that? <laughs> I'm serious, I'm like, hello? Yes, this is she. My computer, oh my gosh, you're kidding me, you're kidding. Hold on a second before you go any further. Let me, let me guess, I know that accent. India, am I right? <laughs> I knew it. Last week I got a call from Phil in the Philippines and boy, are they having a tough go of it. Yeah, because a lot of them work on cruise ships and me too. And no, 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 not the hashtag me too. I'm fine, I'm fine. I just, I work on the cruise ships and that's what, okay, you're right, you're right. You're the one that called, how are you? <sighs> How's your mom? I've been thinking about her. How's she doing? She, that's great. Oh, okay, you're right. Back to the computer. So could you help me figure this out? Like, is the virus in my computer or on my computer? Yeah, because if it's on my computer, I can totally take care of that. I have so much Lysol. I have sprays. I have gels. I have wipes. Yeah, yeah. But if it's in my computer, I could totally use your help. So you'll probably need uh, my social security number. Yeah, and whenever you're ready, I'll give you my bank account and password because I just want to help you help me, okay? So. Francis DiLorenzo on That Kevin Show, coming right back. Ready or not, we'll be right back. That Kevin Show.